see what's on TV. Maybe they have a special on the American Dream. You're about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of dream and imagination. The American Dream. Everyone has one, but no two are the same. It is what motivates us to continue and live our otherwise dull and boring lives. But the question is, just how far is one willing to go to attain it? And we have our host, Harry Carey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. We want to repeat our show today. Excellent to have you here. All right, all right. Well, welcome to Talking with Harry. I'm your host, Harry Carey, and today's topic is the American Dream. Now joining us today is the professor, who is an acclaimed expert in the field of human psychology. Nice to have you today, professor. Thank you, glad to be here. All right, so our topic is the American Dream. Now what exactly is your definition of the American Dream? Well, an American Dream to me is all about having a big house and to be successful in your career and also to have a nice family and especially have a nice car in your driveway. Excellent, excellent. All right. Now, why exactly do people have the things like the American dream? Well, you know, uh, when, you're, when you're young, uh, you, you also start, you start dreaming about your American dream. It's uh, all about be, to be successful in life. So it's sort of a form of most motivation and influences to continue living our lives, correct? Precisely, I think. Excellent, excellent. Now, it appears that you and your team of special scientists have come up with a cure for the swine flu that has been rapidly, rapidly spreading across the country. Could you elaborate on that? What? We interrupt your program for a special news bulletin. We go out to our man Nick Price in the field. Nick, can you hear me? We're here with Sir Vogel, who says his American dream has been stolen. Can you describe it for us, Mr. Vogel? Yes, I can. It was a very beautiful thing. I, I liked it a whole lot, and it, I don't know what happened to it. It was, it was there, and then it wasn't there. It was, I was, I'm completely dumbfounded. It was, it was a beautiful thing, and you know, that attainment. It's the, it's the gold medal of the Olympics that you just want, and you just strive for, and I just, I, I can't, I don't know what happened to it. Someone stole it. Who would, who would steal something like that? I don't know. What did he look like? Uh, he was blonde. He had uh, a collar on, it was a dark collar shirt, I had some blue jeans, and he had some, some sunglasses on. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting story. Back to you in the studio, Tom Jennings. Thanks, Nick, for that stimulating story. Now we go to our weather girl, Stacy Sunshine, for the weather. It's hot! Hi, we are here today to interview somebody and ask them what their American dream is in school. Hi, would you be able to answer a question for me? Um. Sure. Can you tell me, what do you think the American dream is? Um, <laughs> I think the American dream is being able to support yourself and not having to, I don't know, rely on people, being independent, I guess. Nice. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hi, we are going to interview two more people that are here in the school and ask them what the American dream is. Would you be able to tell us your viewpoints on the American dream? Sure. Sure. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> um, American dream, I guess, is to be successful. And to have a job. And to have kids and family. That'd be nice. And to not be in debt. That'd be good. Um, my American dream would be to be successful in my career and to like travel the world, you know, see different names. Have like a huge life. Okay. Thank you for your time. <laughs> we are here again today to interview a teacher on what he thinks the American dream is. What is your American dream? I think the American dream to me is a house on a lake, um, definitely a wife, two kids, a boat, yeah. basically security in what I'm doing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
I wanted to go to Africa. I wanted to meet King Babala Kukulaba. I wanted to learn how to dance with them in the tribal ways, but I was poorly funded. Very touching, very touching. But it says here that you blatantly admitted to stealing moguls! Now why did you do it? I, 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 was, I couldn't, I couldn't afford the dream. I couldn't, I couldn't fulfill it. Jelly rolls. Back up, man. Gun down. What are you? American? Really? So, what's your American dream? I don't know. Get Answer the question! Get married, I guess. Have kids. Get are you sure about that? Well, it's sort of hard for me to think with that gun in my face. Question. Maggot, answer the question! My American dream would be just to have a family. Live in a two-story house. Good job, good money. Want to be a chef. You know? I see. I used to have that dream. Long ago. But I got stuck fighting in this war. Vietnam. Or known as Nam. Are we done here? Because I, I got a reason. Scoot along. Well, that was pretty cool. Wow. I learned a lot about the American dream. Let's see. You've got American dream. Everyone has one. No two are the same. Basically a goal that people have to uh, continue living their lives, motivates them to continue living their lives, and... Wow, I think I got this. Let's go invent a bomb that will destroy the world! My fellow Americans, I have some tragic news to share with you today. About ten and nuclear attacks across the world has occurred today from one single, one mere man. We had no idea how he got hold with 10,000 nuclear bombs and the American dream is gone.